I started really learning about photography when I was in high school. That's where I had my first real experience of like really loving photography. I wasn't having a great day and I had my camera and I was taking pictures and I just felt so good. I was like, wow, that like totally made my day. It made everything better. And that was kind of the first time I had an experience like where it was literally the thing that changed me from feeling bad to feeling good. There's nothing that compares to watching a, a picture just appear on a piece of paper that's sitting in a liquid. It's this magical experience and it's like a picture that you took. When you're shooting on film, you have to wait to see the pictures. Like you don't just see them right away. And there's something like really interesting about that um, from like an artistic perspective. Even if you go and develop the film right away, I mean, it's still gonna take at least like an hour to be able to even just see the negative. And you're in the dark room and you're like, wow, I took these pictures. Because there's a little bit of distance between like the time you took it and the time that you're developing, you may have forgotten some of the pictures that you took or like forgot what you did. And so it's just like, it's an interesting like experience of, of being disconnected and then reconnecting to what you did and seeing it in a different way. I wasn't sure how to go about making a career. I found this program where you get to go and live in France and teach English. So I applied on a whim and what do you know? <laughs> I got accepted to the program. When I was over there, I was starting to kind of discover my artistic voice, just trying to explore what it meant to have an artistic vision. So I would take pictures of like different architectural details or like people in the street when, you know, there was some interesting lighting thing happening, shapes, colors, cultural things that stood out to me. But I was really, I was like interested in um, taking things kind of out of context in a way and making them a little bit more abstract. And, and the thing that I really liked about that um, was because I feel like we live such a, a rushed life and I really wanted to find beauty in like what was around me and be able to stop and appreciate it. And so I wanted other people to be able to find kind of the ability to look at my pictures and just kind of take a break. I wanted it to be sort of like a meditative moment in a way um, where, you know, it gives you permission to stop and like reflect and just appreciate something simple and beautiful.